Hi friends, welcome to this video. This video we will see how to work with multimedia elements in HTML5. So what is mean by multimedia elements? So multimedia elements convey the information in the form of image, audio, video, graphics and animation. So now let us see how to code HTML with multimedia elements. So already you know uh, how to use with image. So image is one of the multimedia elements. So by using image tag that is IMG you will include images in your web page. So before sure that your image is available inside your project folder or you need to know the full path of where your image file is available. So now I have an image in my project folder. So I just drag and drop. So I got an image here. So image tag having SRC, then alt. Then if I have width, I can give width, width of the image. And then I can specify the height of the image. So when I save and execute, so I will get the image in my web page. So now we will see what are the other multimedia elements available in HTML5. So these are the some of the media elements available in HTML5. That is you can include audio by using audio tag, video by using video tag and you can embed other plugins suppose PDF files, document files, YouTubes by using object tag. Then embed also used to embed the external resources like your web page, media player, pictures and plugins and iframe is used as an inline frame. So you can include the other document as a frame inside as a current document. So now we will see how to work with these tags. So first is the audio tag. So if I want to use with audio, so I need to first download some audio file and keep it in my project folder. So I have a audio file here. So I just drag and drop the audio file. So audio file mainly used with the audio tag, open and closing tag. And it should have a source. That is an another one element tag which is available inside the audio tag. And here you can see the source. You should have the file extension, the path of the file and then type. The type specify audio and along with what is the extension of an audio file. So before that you have to know what are the different supported uh, formats of your audio file. So we can use the audio file with these formats. So you can use with mp3, you can use with ogg or you can use the wav files for us your audio files. So now I have the ogg file which is available here and I have mainly three attributes controls then autoplay and then loop so controls will have a control panel about your audio player then loop will again repeat the audio again and again then we have the autoplay okay so the autoplay i need to enable so i have to put autoplay so it means that your uh, when the page is loaded your audio will be played automatically okay so now I will go with my web page and I will show here but I am not getting any sound through my autoplay. The reason is Chrome no longer allows the autoplay option. So now I am going with my Microsoft Edge browser and then I am running my file. So I am getting an autoplay. So I think you are hearing the music. So the music is played automatically in the background. But the control is not, so I can stop it here, I can close it. Okay, but the control is not visible. So you want to make the control also visible. So you need to include another one attribute called as controls. So now I can run it. I can have an autoplay and also have a control. So if I want to pass, I can pass it. So if I am doing with Chrome, the autoplay is not working, but I have a control. I can click it and it will play and pass. 
the controls will be available here. And if I put a loop here, it will be automatically repeated. Okay. So this is the thing available for the audio tag. And you want to just go through it. So autoplay, controls, loop and you want to mute, you can mute it. Then source is the another one important thing. And you can set the background music without the control by using the autoplay option. And if I want the control also visible, I can use with autoplay and controls. The next tag is the video tag. And here I am having one video which is already loaded and kept it in my project folder. So just I drag and drop it. So now you can have my video tag. So video tag having mainly important the width of the frame of the video, height of the frame and then the controls for adjust your pass and play your videos. Then here also we have the source tag. It having the SRC where you have to give the URL of the file and then type. There you have to specify it is a video file. What is the format accepted? That is the MP4. Okay, so now we'll just go through here. So here also we have three supported video formats. One is MP4 and WebM and then OGG. Okay, so now we will play and see how your video is playing. So run the file. I'm getting here. Okay, so my audio file is there, my video file is there, autoplay is not enabled. So I click it. So I got the video to be played in my browser. <coughs> so now we will move to the next tag that is embed tag. But embed tag is used to uh, like a plugin. So you can include a PDF document, your image file, video file, documents, everything you can add inside your embed file. So I can use with embed, then I can use with the type. So in the type, I am specifying image or JPG. Okay. So I need to include a JPG file through my embed tag and followed by the source. So already I have my logo, so I'm going to put logo.png and I have to give what is the width of the frame and then what is the height of the frame. So I will close it here. So this is the embed tag, I'm embedding and JPG image that is my logo dot. So I'm going to use with uh, JPG, I'm having any images. No, I'm having everything is PNG, so I'm going to put the type as PNG. So now I will just run the file. Okay, so I got my image should be displayed, embed, okay, like a plugin, it is embedded in my web page. So like that, what are the things I can embed in my web page? So I can embed other HTML pages. And also I can embed videos also in my web page. So I have to specify in the type images JPG. So I have included a JPG file. Then text is HTML format. So I can include an HTML file. And video means I can include a video. Okay. So height I can specify with the type of the file I want to embed and the URL of the file. Okay. So suppose you want to embed a file from the YouTube okay so that also you can do by using the embed tag so so I am having a code of embed tag to include the YouTube so I am including here okay so height width and then source so source I am specifying from where I want to embed. So from the YouTube I want to embed. So right click, run the file. So now I got a file which is embedded from the YouTube. And the next tag we will see is the object tag. So object tag also again used for plugin. So you can plug some PDF or other HTML files like an embed tag. You can embed other documents inside your web page. So here in object have to give data so data is the source file so now what I want to include so I want to include the 
PNG file. The data is the actually the URL of the file. And then same thing I have to give the width. And then I have to give the height. Then I have to close the object tag. Okay, so object tag instead of source. We have the attribute called as data where you have to specify the URL of the file. So now we run it, run the file. So now I have an image which is added inside the web page using the object tag. So by using object tag, what are the other things we can do? You can add a picture and you can add a video, you can add other HTML pages. So these are the attributes available in your object tag and then I told you can use with object you can play a video directly you can use with data so I can show you so how it will be done so I can have a object tag object data equal to so I have my video so the video then I can use with with this equal to 400 and then height is equal to 400 and then close the object tab okay so now execute so i have this video which is embedded as an object tag which is embedded in my web page okay but I need to add some parameters apart from this also I need to add some parameters to my object tag so for that we have a tag called as param tag okay you can see here so instead of doing all the parameters directly in the tag you can use the param tag also to specify the parameters so in the parameter I can give autoplay the value is true width is equal to 400 height is equal to 200 okay so now i can go with again the web page so i can have it here i already told chrome browser autoplay is restricted so when i click the button itself it start to play the video okay and now we will go to the next tag the next tag is called as iframe okay so iframe is used to embed a document as a frame inside your html document so while you go with iframe so iframe so iframe is used to embed a document inside your web page as a frame so now i can go with the iframe so i can use with iframe iframe i have a source the source i need to tell what i want to include as a frame so i have a png image that i have included and followed by i need to close it so slash iframe so now this will be added as a frame inside your web page so right click run file <coughs> so you can see here you can know the difference okay so like a frame like a frame the image is added inside your web page so like that you can include a youtube video or a pdf file or you can include a google map also inside the iframe i will show you how to use it okay so i will go with the browser i will search for a youtube video youtube then i can go with go with my videos so i have some videos so i will select from that video so i can go with some video so the video is playing now so i have an option here okay share so you click the share button you have this embed tag so click the embed tag when you embed you will get an iframe so just copy that iframe and then you come to your code and then add the iframe okay so when you add it then execute it so you can see here your youtube video is 
added as a iframe inside your web page. So now we will see how to include a Google map inside your web page as a iframe. So I can go with Google map generator. Okay, so Google map generator. So I can get a Google map generator. And here I am going to give the address. Carnia University. Get the HTML code. Okay, when you get the HTML code itself, your iframe is here. So copy the iframe information. Okay, so I need only up to iframe. I don't need the other things. So I just copy everything and go it here. Okay, so I don't want these things. Add only up to iframe. Take only the iframe. Open with the iframe, then end with the iframe. Okay, so now the Google map is embedded in the iframe. So I can go with right click and the file. So you can see here the Google map is embedded in your web page. So now we have seen how to use with a normal image tag then audio tag, then video tag, then embed, object tag and the finally iframe. Okay. So the last one I want to just teach you is the thing called as figure caption. Okay. So how you can include a figure with a figure caption. So for that we have another one tag called as figure. Okay. So inside the figure, again the figure is a semantic tag, okay. So inside the figure, you need to include the figure. So I have included the figure. So I need to give a caption for the figure. So for that, you have a tag called as figure caption, okay. So you are telling the figure caption is HTML5 logo. So I am giving, this is a figure with specify HTML logo. So I just execute it. You can have here your figures there and the caption for the figure is also there. So I think you now have an idea how to include media elements inside your web page to create an interactive web page with audio, video and images. Thank you for watching.